we were on a spearhead and um, a German jet strafed our line. And I, I happened to be nearby a vehicle that got hit. It blew up and this guy got, got out, but he is on fire. And uh, we rolled him on the grass, putting his fire out with our clothes too, uh, with our jackets. But he would burn black. And uh, he cried, Brookshire, shoot me. I said, I can't do that. He said, I thought he was just, he wanted me to put him out of his pain, but that wasn't it. He said, shoot me. I can't go home and let my wife see me like this. About that time, the medic gave him a morphine shot. And then he realized that he was dying. He said, Brookshire, pray with me. Pray for me. So I had a New Testament in my pocket. My, my mother persuaded me to carry it. Pulled it out and read the verses, uh, Romans 9 and 10, that if thou will believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you'll be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. I said, do you believe Jesus? He said, yes, yes. He said, Brookshire, promise me that I'll be buried over here. And then with his dying words, he said, uh, Brookshire, don't forget me. Well, his body now is under one of those white crosses in a beautiful American cemetery, awaiting in timeless tranquility for the resurrection. I believe all those American bodies on their white crosses would say, if they could, don't forget me.